Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life. A lot of times when I vlog, I don't really know where to look. My, eye, oh, my eyes tend to dart off to the, my right side, but I don't know necessarily know why it's doing that. But uh, we always have a certain degree of habits. Uh, anyway, uh, it is two, two hours and 30 minutes into the uh, 23rd day of October, and uh, we're having an oscillating day again today. We're... Up for a bit, sleep, sleep for a bit, up for a bit, sleep for a bit. I just got up uh, a few minutes ago, did a test on uh, a sound system. Uh, I'll do the second test on uh, Sunday evening. And then we'll proceed with the rest of the uh, installation tests. These are the stuff that have to be done on the bench first before you bring it into uh, the actual environment. And then you do a dry fit. And it takes you a while before the dry fit is completed. Uh, this means it means it's not working, it's not operating, it's just in there uh, before you turn it on, test it, and make sure that everything is functioning uh, appropriately. And this is sort of what has to happen in terms of uh, uh, the step after Sunday is just basically you start moving on to the dry fit, but uh, one of the microphones is missing, so... Uh, we're going to have to do a workaround until it comes in, and then when it comes in, we'll then we'll sort of deal with that issue when uh, we get to it. Uh, otherwise, uh, everything is sort of uh, moving along properly. Uh, uh, well, it's a, well, properly, I mean, to go, it, it's my usual, my normal. And the thing is, is that, that, that we're watching, watching uh, Family Five vlogs. Uh, <laughs> the kids are kind of complaining about their routine. I guess you know it's it's you do the one thing and say, like, oh, I'm, I'm keeping my kids home from school, and you know they should be more appreciative if they're not going to school and so on and so forth. Uh, you know they don't have to get up early. They realize they don't have to get up early in terms of most uh, students will get up around five o'clock in the morning and start getting ready, and then they have to take the bus and. Uh, there's a number of uh, other uh, sort of called inconveniences. This is what uh, Carly Reese had begun to realize uh, as she uh, moved into the uh, routine of online schooling uh, and online studies. Is that uh, yes, you get your own routine. Yes, you have more leeway, but there are certain things that are, are, are missing in many cases, and that's your in many ways your social life. Your social life isn't uh, what it should be or what it could be. Uh, if you were in school, uh, there's the activities, there's the football, there's, there's, there's a lot of different activities that, uh, become a social, uh, environment for, uh, teenagers and younger people. Anyone who, oh, indeed, anyone who chooses the lifestyle of studying. It, it, it <laughs> uh, and so it becomes a draw, but the thing is, it comes at the expense of your education, it comes at the expense at your understanding of new things. Because it takes away, it takes time away from uh, the studying. It, take, it takes your focus away from the studying, and so there's a lot more distraction than uh, uh, you would typically have there. But then again, at the same time, is that uh, 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 I think the kids don't realize what what, what the parents are, do, are, are understanding, what they understand, and the parents have forgotten what the kids are now going through. They have, they don't remember what has happened. They see things in their present time, in their present environment, and they function accordingly. This is where it happens with a lot of people, is that they function in the environment that, that, that they're in. That's their behavior. And many people just, and as I said, it's about, a, it's, about, it's about functioning. It's not about anything more. So their functionality is in the environment. And then everything else, your, your attitude sort of plays into it. Your behavior plays into that. Uh, a sort of standard environment, and, and in many cases, it's limited by the environment as well. But at the same time, when things get too much, where you have uh, too much emotion, this is where you start getting into mental illness. This is where you start getting this includes depression, anger, upsetment to a point where it becomes disabling, and that's sort of the the, the focus we want to look at. It looks like 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 Lionel's back again. I'll have to sort of watch him tomorrow night. I've I've got his stuff. I've got him marked, uh, and, but I wasn't getting able, able to get out tonight. It just just didn't work out, and so 
I'll try again tomorrow night to do my uh, my bit outside the observation work. And uh, but one is uh, one observation vlog is queued up and ready to go out. Uh, I just haven't done that yet because <laughs> it just hasn't been the time. Well, I said I'm just getting up now. I, I did uh, the work I needed to get done in terms of uh, the audio system, uh, the tests for there. And now I'm um, at the point where I'm going to do some uh, work on my phone in terms of uh, uh, the, the different Asian, um, the Asian uh, supermarket, the Asian stores, online stores that I shop at. Uh, I'm going to use them fi fix up my, uh, there's a coupon run that I have to do. Uh, so I'm going to work on that now and uh, uh, then uh, have something to eat. So anyways, I will see you. Probably uh, uh, when I'm leaving this particular spot, I'm ending the YouTube stroll and heading back to transitioning back towards the sleep 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 realm. Maybe I'll talk more about that later on. So when when we transition back, so uh, see you then. Well, we're ending uh, this segment as I came on before. Uh, it's uh, five hours and two minutes into the. Well, twenty third day of uh, of October, and yeah, twenty third day, uh, two thousand twenty one. Um, I am tired. Uh, I said this is part of the oscillating mode. This is what happens when you oscillate. Oscillate means to go back and forth uh, in a uh, sort of a in somewhat of a circular fashion, or or, or a waveform actually forms. And the cycles are rather shorter than the typical cycle. So just, I'm not going to bed in the morning and getting up in the day. Uh, I'm getting up, uh, getting up and transitioning to here or into the kitchen or uh, or or in the, into the um, uh, the observatory music room. Or even back here again. Uh, every three hours or so. So I'll go to bed for three hours. And that's what's going to happen. I'm going to go to bed to like three, three four hours. And get up uh, around nine o'clock. Uh, have something to eat. Maybe watch a little. Uh, uh, do a little of the YouTube stroll. Or I just finished it Kim, with Kim Possible right now. So uh, I'll probably do maybe uh, Cleopatra in space. Or something along those lines. And. Uh, and then end up going back to bed within an hour or so. So it'll be the short time up. But that's the way it is. It, 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 you 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 are awake for a bit, asleep for a bit, awake for a bit, asleep for a bit. And this is what happens when you are running on the sort of this uh, 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 sort of unending track where your sleep habits are out uh, for a snake. Are out of sync for a significant period of time, and this is what indica the yawning indicates this: that the, the fatigue is setting in more than it should be setting in, uh, and so my body is heading towards a crash. Uh, this is what the crash always, the oscillating sleep mode always precedes the crash, and then you're out for a couple a day or so, and then you're back into uh, uh, well your usual unusual state uh, state of not sleep again until uh, until uh, you're done your research and or done your work and you're going to bed whenever you're done and getting up uh, whenever your body wakes up to do uh, the next level of work or the next uh, segment of work and that's typical for me that's typically studying uh, so but anyway things are getting done so this is getting done I am I haven't gone through the heavy crashes. Uh, before I was crashed, the, the crashes before, I'd be out for a week to two weeks, even sometimes up to a month. Uh, I'd lose an entire month, uh, in a sleep deprivation crash. Now it's lasting for a couple of days, maybe a day, most two days. Uh, and I'm able to, uh, get work done 
in the oscillating modes in between, so uh, I've been able to sort of get my efficiency in terms of the uh, what I can do with the least amount of energy uh, up to a point where uh, I can stay functional even though I'm in a crash mode. So, <clears throat> I'm leaving this here now and uh, uh, heading off to the uh, the, the next point, uh, which is uh, the transitioning to the dreams, but of course I can't vlog in there, so um, uh, I'll see you again when I wake up. Uh, it's 14 hours and 14 minutes into the 24th day of October. I've uh, been knocked out for about a day or so. Uh, not about all those uh, heavy fatigue issues. Uh, anyways, uh, we're just getting started for the day. I'm heading on out. I was going to uh, vlog yesterday. I was also supposed to do the uh, observation vlog, but I didn't do it. I was outside doing the observation, but I was falling asleep on the ch in the chair, so I listened to Lionel, and mm. this is where you have to be careful with what you say, in some sense. Uh, he reiterated, he, once again, the, his statement that the, anyone who talks about communism in terms of what's going on now with the United States is a complete idiot. Well, that's, <laughs> that's his statement. I can sort of go back and find it, you know, find it and sort of put it in, let's insert it in, into some particular place. Could be here or wherever. Mm. <sighs> Maybe at one of these yawning points. <laughs> um, but last night when I was doing the perusing, I do I listened to Lionel, and then I listened to um, that. Well, I listened to, but uh, I peruse RT, and RT had an interview with uh, Putin, and Putin was talking about how uh, what's going on now reminds him of uh, the early Soviet days. <laughs> but well, there you go. Here's a. Uh, Putin talking about communism and the United States of the Soviet Union. Uh, so, apparently, uh, uh, Lionel thinks Putin is an idiot. <laughs> I get there. I mean, you know, if anyone who talks about this whole situation with uh, communism, well, here's Putin saying the same thing. <sighs> So that's it. You have to be careful with what you say in, in certain cases, and sort of, sort of broad brushing people like that. Uh, but again, this is the nature of the intellectual. This is the way the intellectual, the academic behaves. I mean, this is. I mean, this, people go ahead. Well, why was it so difficult for women to get the vote uh, early on? It's because they were classified as feebly minded, and you had to go through through. You had to go through, not simply prove uh, that women were, were, were sufficient in their capacities to do all they're doing now, but at the same time as you had to get through the ego of the academic. And that's not an issue of logic, that's an issue of emotion. So ironically, the, the issue of ego with the academic, and this was at the time was particularly male, uh, was an issue of emotion. It wasn't an issue of logic. It wasn't a logical issue thing. It was it was something that was emotional. So once again, you see that there is emotion involved in almost a lot of the things we do. So it's not confined to specifically women that who are emotional and think emotionally, but so do men. Anything that has to do with an ego, uh, in, in terms of how you feel about things, this is a, and what you think about things, this is a, a particularly an emotional issue. It's not an intellectual issue. It's not uh, something of the mind. It's not logical. 
Anyways, uh, this is it for our transitions point, and I will see you uh, maybe later on tonight. I'll probably vlog uh, at my parents' house because uh, I got some time there, and maybe do some vlogging uh, at the lecture where I'm set setting up for tonight's lecture. So, anyways, uh, uh, I'll see you then. Well, it is uh, just 38 minutes into the 25th day of October, uh, 2021, and I didn't film. I didn't film a transitions vlog outside again. I didn't film the transitions uh, transitions vlog while I was doing the work uh, at the lecture, and I fell asleep in the chair at my parents' house, so I didn't film there either. Uh, today's been uh, a, w another wipeout of a day. Sort of, uh, I got work done. I got everything I need to get done. The essentials were checked off. But I'm just sort of feeling completely wiped out. And so whenever I can, I get, I'm, I'm sleeping. <laughs> and so there's no, there wasn't any time to do any of the vlogging that I intended to do. So it's a fail day for a vlog. <laughs> but we're getting there. Uh, I just finished it, Yowie Vlogs, Yowie Vlogs, uh, now I'm over. It's our life, so I've got in the YouTube stroll. I've got some food in the oven. And, uh, we'll continue our discussion, uh, hopefully, if I don't fall asleep, uh, afterwards. And, uh, we'll talk about what's, uh, happening and what's not happening. Well, it is now the 26th of October. It is two hours and 15 minutes into the day. Uh, I was just at Femi 5 Vlogs, and they're always talking about... And I think there's, there's a lot of vloggers who feel like this. It's always difficult to vlog. One of the problems that causes this issue is I would like to vlog while I'm watching the YouTube stroll, when doing the YouTube stroll, but I can't because, again... Uh, if something's in the background, uh, uh, there's a copyright strike there. This would be an issue for copyright. You want to film in the mall or, and go into a store, they're playing some loud music. You're in the mall and you're not playing the music. The store is, uh, uh, unfortunately, it can't be in the background. That's, again, another copyright issue. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that YouTube is in competition with the major corporations, with the major uh, media companies. And the thing is, Universal isn't isn't a, a functioning corporation the way we think it is. Universal Studios was bought up by the European Union, and particularly France. Uh, that's why its, it's main parent company is Vivendi, which is a French water company. This is the, this is what we were talking about before about peerage. That a lot of companies in Europe and under the socialist standard uh, is where the planned economy comes from the government. They're the major and fundamental employer. They determine uh, how people live. It is social engineering. No matter how you want to describe it, no matter who, you know, these people who are like the Davos nerds, they get together, they put together these scenarios and how things are going to go, and, well, this is what the way they see things, this is the way think, things are going to work, and, well, that's the way it goes. But, so for vloggers, it makes it very difficult to find a point in time to sit down and well, have this conversation because uh, you're blocked by other uh, other means, and so you have to wait. Okay, turn everything off and have this conversation here like this, and uh, hopefully, if you, <laughs> like I don't have it just yet, I'm still fixing up my music studio, so the camera is down there; it's not functioning there. So uh, can't vlog there. Same thing with the kitchen. The kitchen is a little bit down. It's uh, uh, it, it is going through some upgrades. I'm working on. Uh, my street food uh, menu, and so that's down, and they can't film there. So this we're, we're back to our fallback uh, uh, point uh, here in, in the uh, in the uh, me, uh, media room, media room uh, research de in the me uh, in the media room research desk. Uh, now we are vlogging outside, but it's its own separate vlog uh, that comes into thing. And we are working. I'm working on. We are working on. We, as in Cyborg Elf, are working on uh, uh, on a third vlog, and that's the this, this is the no see notes that I've been trying to get out for a while now, but it's never just kind of worked out. But 
now with the uh, with the uh, observation vlog coming in, I think this is the time to bring Gnosis Notes into that, uh, sort of evolved from there, and then into its own particular uh, environment. Uh, and this is because a large chunk of what goes on in the world that you observe as you get into physics, as you get into all these different observational works areas, uh, you begin to realize as you do your research that you're running into this sort of Gnostic understanding over and over and over again, and it's hard to sort of uh, shift uh, away from it because if you're doing that, you're ignoring a major chunk of what's actually going on. Now, I'm going to try to come back after I finish my YouTube stroll, uh, and we'll, but we'll see what happens. Last time, I said I'll come back, but I ended up falling asleep and uh, there was no way for me to vlog because I wasn't really in a, in, in a coherent state to go say, okay, I'm going back to bed now. So, uh, <laughs> we'll see how things end up working out. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life.